Good morning, day four, our last day in Rome. <laughs> we didn't have too late at night, but we had a bit of a lie in. But um, we do so much walking, don't we, during yeah, the day? Yeah, we do a lot of walking. <laughs> um, so we missed the boat getting down here early, yeah. and we're not we're not going to queue up in this queue. It's not worth it for no, us, really. Not just to get a viewpoint. Um, so. If you decide to come to Rome, um, you need to get up and get to the Basilica by half seven, yeah. eight in the morning. It opens at eight and they say the best time to start queuing is half, half seven. Half seven, yeah. But it's just too early for us yeah. today. But that's not to say if we had have got up in time, we would do the viewpoint. <laughs> I'm not saying that it's probably not an amazing thing to do, but because we've got up so late, we're not going to waste our time queuing in this no. queue because we've got loads of other things we want to we no. want to fit in today. So it's our fault. Yeah. But, yeah. Anyway, we're off to the catacombs. Yeah. Right, we're at the church. Of, uh, Cappuccini. Um, there's a crypt in here, which is like a catacombs. Um, houses um, friars who used to work here. Um, you're not allowed cameras in there, um, so we're going to go undercover with a GoPro. It's eight uh, euros each to get in. Okay. That's expensive. Yeah. You don't see this every day, so let's go have a look. Okay, um, that was a bit of a balls up in there. Um, <laughs> oh dear. We took the GoPro in, sneaked in, there was people watching in there because you're not allowed to film. Yeah. Um, but the, ca <laughs> the camera was set on time lapse. So. It's taken 670 individual frames. Yeah, blurry. Yeah. But if we can get a couple of photos, you're going to see them now. Interesting. It is, it's very artistic the way yeah. the bones have been arranged. Yeah. Strange. I'm sure there's nothing else like it. Yeah. There's um, not much to see, not many. No, not for that price. Very short. Sure. There is a museum as well there's with a, art yeah, and um boring. Yeah, we were more into the to see the crypt, the crypt and the ossuary. The ossuary really. It's worth a look yeah. if you're in the obscurities, so yeah. that's definitely worth looking. So we're now at the where are we? We're in the mouth of truth which is at the Santa Maria church, not far from the Forum. Supposedly, if you put your hand in the mouth of truth and you're a liar, it will bite your fingers off. Um, also appeared in the film Roman Holiday, featuring Audrey Hepburn and Gregory Peck. So, if you've ever seen that before, he makes out he gets his hand bitten off and she shits herself. <laughs> Some say it might even be just an ancient manhole cover. The queues for this. One hell of a manhole cover. We're in the queue. Exactly, I love manhole covers. <laughs> Online they say this is one of Rome's hidden gems. Um, bad people don't know about it because there's a hell of a queue. We've been waiting here 20 odd minutes. It's going to be good. Oh, hello. Yeah, not a huge queue, not like the Vatican or the Colosseum. No. Um, but because people are taking pictures. It just takes time to get yeah. through. Um, and it's free. Yeah. And you've got the relic of St. Valentino in there as well as a little extra. Yeah. It says Hadrian's Crypts in there, but we didn't get around to seeing that. I think that was blocked off. Yeah. So it might be worth a visit if you're in Rome. Come have a look. The River Tiber running all the way through Rome. 
there are walkways but you never see anyone walking no. there huh? um I don't know if it feels a little bit edgy. You know, but hardly anyone walking down a beautiful river like this. Yeah, Absolutely really stunning. Lovely. We just found a nice little restaurant to sit and have a nice beer and something to eat. Yeah. I've gone four for the gnocchi. Yeah, I've had four cheese gnocchi here. I've gone Adam. for the uh, four cheese pizza. Look how thin and crispy that base is. That's outstanding. And you can taste the gorgonzola and the mozzarella. Um, and that's so thin. Traditional Roman pizzas are really thin. And that's how I like my pizza. So for me, that is absolutely delicious. I can remember thinking years ago that gnocchi, potato dumplings, I thought that's going to be a heavy, funny dish. Yeah. They can um, sometimes be really light, can't they? First time I ever had it was in New York City in Little Italy, and they were tiny tiny little potato dumplings the smallest i've ever had and mm. it blew me away and i've loved gnocchi ever since mm, it's lovely um, yeah so i've gone for the four cheese mm. Mm. just so light fluffy four cheese I like adam got the blue cheese going through there but it's not too heavy they're just it's just perfect We've just been to the Vincenzo alla Lungaretta restaurant. You hear about all the bad restaurants in Rome, in the touristy areas. If you just come out of, out of the way and go down some little alleys, there's some little gems. And that pizza with a really thin crust, that traditional Roma pizza, is exceptional. And here, for 10 euros, or starting at 8 euros for a pizza, bargain. sitting having dinner there was an american couple behind us who recommended this, this little cocktail, cocktail bar, bar just around the corner alembic in um, trastevere so they've not. got a menu two two menus of cocktails yeah. one which is unique to their bar and then you made here um and then a menu of classic Fish cocktails like your yeah, margaritas yeah, yeah, yeah. and your long island iced tea so we've gone for two cocktails yeah. unique to here yeah. mine's called budapest calling Mine, I can't remember what mine. Mine's like a cucumber with gin. Mediterranean, Made I think. Mediterranean yeah. one, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice clean. So we look forward to them. Yeah. This place is amazing. Yeah. Check this chair out. Oh, they're actually made of silicon. It looks looks like they're made out of coral or something, but they're actually silicon. Pretty cool chair. Yeah, very cool place. Taste test here. This smells absolutely just light smell. Get a light. Freshness of the cold cucumber, with mint or oh, so refreshing, so cooling. Um, you get a little hint of the gin, but not so strong that it's going to sting the back of your neck. But you get that cucumber just rounds up and off, really cools you down. Absolutely delicious. Look at that gorgeous cup. And the verdict. Mm. It's got a lovely, delicate hint of cinnamon run through it. Oh, lovely. It just warms you up. Oh, yeah. Moorish is the word. Yeah. You have a sip and you just want to go back for more. Yeah. Yeah, they certainly know how to make their sodas here. Um, yeah, you can drink these all afternoon. Get on a nice warm buzz if you're looking at that sort of thing. Yeah. If not, it's still a nice place to come. They make fruit juices. Yeah. They do tapas food. Yeah. Got beer on tap as well. Beer on tap. Yeah. Lovely little place. We've just come out of the cocktail bar. Just gonna have a little wander through the streets of Travestier. 
Um, it's a really, really pretty area and it's nice just wandering, taking in the sights. Oh, oh, gorgeous city rain. Nice, we've enjoyed ourselves. Any suggestions for next trip for us? Yeah. Where do you like? What cities in Europe are your favourites? Yeah. Yeah. We visited a fair few, but we'd love to hear what, what you'd yeah. like. And There's any hidden gems. We should... And where would you like to see us go next? Yes. Leave us a comment down below and we'll see what we can muster up. Things you haven't got much of in Rome. Public toilets. You can't find them anywhere. You have to go get a coffee or go to a restaurant to eat to actually go to a toilet. When you do go to a toilet, they'll never have a toilet seat on them. Yeah, why is that, Adam? I don't know. That's really weird. Yeah, because they, maybe they break them all the time, but it is... Does anyone else no know why there are no toilet seats yeah. in Rome? So you've got to hover. <laughs> Leave us a comment. Another thing you'll also you'll find when you're in Rome it's heavily policed by the army yeah. and the police. Everywhere you turn, there's an army jeep and some with a machine gun. We were just told to delete our videos um, just for filming in the area. I don't think they want the public to know how heavily policed Rome is, but it is something you need to be aware of when you're in Rome. If you're vlogging. Yeah. Uh, I, think, I think they've taken this terrorist thing to the extreme here in Rome. All right, um, just going to finish off today's vlog. Hasn't been too exciting a day today because um, this evening we've been catching up on uh, getting the vlogs up. Um, so we're, we're actually eating in tonight. We've got a little bit of ravioli and um, just uh, chilling in our last night. Packed our cases because we're off tomorrow. Back to Blighty. Oh dear. <laughs> anyway, keep following us on our journeys. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, thanks for watching. Until next time. It's been a good trip. Rome. Thanks for having us.